I'll call a friend. I'll bring him to the Tuesday Phone show. Phone a friend. Because this, we, we want this to be the player show. I want you to introduce your guy, Jimmy Butler, Mr. Mr. Triple Double from last night. Well, I don't call him Jimmy Butler. What do you call him? 21 Savage. He know why. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that. Yeah, that's my brother, man. Hang on a little ways on this o'clock. Welcome, <laughs> your Jimmy. Welcome to our show, brother. I appreciate y'all for having me. I do. Listen, Jimmy, we don't want to ask no basketball questions. We want to have some fun on this show, all right? Because I don't want to talk about basketball right now anyways. Exactly. Who's going yeah. first? You want me to go first? Yes, I want go you to go first. All right, I'll start off with a softball question. Jimmy, well, tennis. Ooh. I tennis. heard you picked up tennis. Uh, Why? I did. I'm, I'm, I'm decent. I'm telling you, don't. You know, everybody's a competitor. But don't think that you can beat me in tennis, bro. Just don't do it. What's the reason? You, first it was football, then it was soccer, now it's tennis. Mm -hmm. What's the reason? Uh, because I wasn't good at football. <laughs> Damn, you not good said at it. So, you know, I am playing a percentage. I'm thinking one of these sports got to be decent. You know you're pretty good in basketball, right? OK. Say my name. Uh, Is it true that when you were coming up with your big face coffee logo, you were thinking about Charles Barkley? Uh-uh. <laughs> No, actually, big my, my, my big face coffee thing was all about because I wanted everybody to pay a $100 for my coffee, so I was trying to hustle them out of it. Mm. Um, that's where big face came from. And, um, now we got a little logo. Logo looks good, too. Really good. So we got, are we going to have stores popping out? It's going to be some big face coffee stores. So what should we be looking for? Yeah, all of that. We, we're going to need some of all the money that you have, though, d -Way. Can I be an investor? Invest. Lots. Can I invest? You can a lot. All right, the way my bank account set up because I'm retired, I got about ten thousand. And you I know got the... about ten thousand bank accounts with ten thousand in it too. <laughs> I know the system that you're playing up under there is your body fat under or over six percent. I know what's going on in, in, in that well, organization. Well, well, they okay. they said they said that you were also under six percent. I said, mm, but well, you maybe, should. Oh, Shaq? No, I was no no. I had you know I had a. I had a special clause. Guards was six. Uh, the other was eight. Power fours was 10. Mine was 15. Because I, I told Pat, I said, Pat, I don't Yours eat. Yours was 15 all this time? I told Pat, I said, Pat, I don't eat salad, Pat. I, <laughs> this, this, this somebody tell us stories over here, because I heard you was a lean, mean shack whenever you was here. OK, but I but, but, you but was a on. mean one, but they said lean, mean. OK, but hold on. If you ever, like, didn't, didn't you know, follow body fat protocols before you take the body fat, just throw on some baby oil. Just they did the tell me you tried that. Yeah, they yeah. Told me you tried that. <laughs> hey, yo, so Adam, so yeah. I go to Chicago, I play, you know, get a chance to play with my guy Jimmy, and Jimmy has been talking about Tomball. He said he's from Tomball, Texas. Okay. Tom Ball, talk about it's one word. It's one word. Tomball. Tomball. Yeah, I, I Tom know Ball. Tomball, Texas. So he's he, from Tomball, Texas. So I never knew that. we go for his you know Jersey retirement and everything, and he's been telling me how it's the hood. And how he how he grew up rough, and so I mean, when we pull up, I see nothing but like Bentleys and Ferraris and mega mansions. It, times Where are change. You from, Jimmy? Times change. I'm from Tomball, the hood. So now it's you know they got Bentleys and they got Escalades and all that. When I was there, mm -hmm. none of that, and none of that. Everybody want to be from the hood in the NBA. Yeah. You're you not know, right. going to ask a question, Adam? You just go yeah, I, well, I'm letting you guys go. You guys oh, have a great time. I got a question. I was looking through, uh, Jimmy, your IG, and I started seeing, man, you have been friends with Mark Wahlberg for a really long time. And I'm mm -hmm. curious, who was a better hang, Mark Wahlberg or D. Wade? Uh, better what? Better hang. Who's better to, to hang out with and kick it with? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because I didn't one. sound like we're uh, Okay, to chill. Tell him, D-Wade. I'm going to go with Mark. He has a better hang. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> like, you don't know what that means. Better hang. <laughs> better hang. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Did you say I'm you don't go with Mark? Too. I think he did. He the, said the, Mark. The wording's a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah I right, Jimmy? Who like, has a better hang? Nobody wants to compare me to this guy. They don't want to compare me to him. I'm tired of being compared to him. Everything I do, I've got to be compared to Dwayne Wade. Oh, you just passed Dwayne Wade on the triple doubles list. Man, screw Dwayne Wade. So like, don't worry about being compared to Mark Wahlberg. I'm not, I'm not an actor. I don't, I don't do that. But everything you had some I, pretty good acting I, last week, though. I saw you pulled out the Mark Wahlberg on the flop there. That was nice. I did. I did. D-Wade taught me that, too, now. 
Uh, you he know you used to, to do that. He said, "You know you used to do that." <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> listen, did. listen. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to start talking about, uh, you know, the things I talked to you about in the locker room. So let's talk about some important things like Lee Ning. Can we talk about your first signature shoe, Jimmy Butler? I know you got yeah. a signature shoe coming. Can we talk about it a little Jimmy's bit? Going. You know. I know somebody that's sitting across that used to be with Lee Ning over there that really, you know, kind of started this thing. And then, you know, the Appreciate old guy myself guys. came in and now Jimmy Butler is the face of Lee Ning basketball. Talk about he this. He took kid. me out, uh, Jimmy. He backed over <laughs> me and got a Lee Ning deal. Yeah, okay. Jimmy did the yeah. same thing to me. Oh, he did. <laughs> Here we go. See, I'm being compared to Dwayne Wade again here. So. No, it's coming soon, man. They make an incredible basketball shoe, off the court shoe as well. I'm just excited about it. I think I've been playing decently well in their shoe. It does have something to do with it. Um, but, you know, I think this COVID time, it's a little bit difficult to sit down and um, really dig into this thing. But on every off day, I'm trying to figure out how I can make um, my version of a shoe, tell my story through that shoe, and then go out there and uh, try to win games and make winning games happen pretty soon. Adam, back to you. I'm, okay. I'm 48 years old. I never had, heard nobody say, who has a better hang? I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. Don't do you that. I said, yeah, who you said. is a better hang? No, you said, what is that? What yeah, is it's that? a phrase, like no, how you hang out with people. No, no it's Come not. Come on, no, Jimmy Butler likes country no, music. He's heard that no, before. No, no. Who has, who has a better hang? Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy's going to leave me out. I got a question for Jimmy. All right, go ahead. Jimmy, again, I did a deep dive on your IG, and I found this picture <laughs> of Miley Cyrus, and I have to ask, did she have any idea who you were when you guys took this photo? Because she looks, who is this guy geeking oh, out no. of me right Dude. now? I mean, look at how I'm dressed. She's probably like, man, he don't care how he... So what this is, is that? before... Look at the hair. Is it... Is that a hat on or is that, is that a haircut? a peacock? What is on your shirt? Is that a pigeon? It's a, it looks I don't like a know, pigeon. man. When I was young, I was on my rookie deal. Now I got a uh, little bit of fashion. Uh, yeah, I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I mean, hell, I was on Jeopardy today and I didn't even know who I was. So that just goes to show I ain't nobody. That's amazing. I'm going to tell my favorite Jimmy Butler story. So. Whoa. <laughs> no, no, no. This ain't, this ain't personal. Whoa. This is not a personal story that we share. This is a. Another story. I just, want, so, okay. I just want to know who has a better hang. <laughs> Stop. So, I, so Jimmy Butler, everybody know, went to Marquette <laughs> University, just like uh, I did. Jimmy, Jimmy follow me. Uh, so I used to go back and play with the guys in the summer every now and again. And Jimmy, you know, he was a hustle man. He was kind of, you know, the guy who defend, knock down some corner threes. But I didn't really think nothing of Jimmy like that. And so the draft comes, and Jimmy get drafted 30th pick. And I say, wow, good for Jimmy. Like, good for Jimmy. He made it in the NBA. Didn't think he was going to be that good. <laughs> and then, first couple years in Chicago, my guy's on the bench. I see him over there with that weak fro, and I'm like, there go my guy Jimmy. <laughs> but Jimmy don't talk to me because Thibodeau didn't like the heat, so Jimmy never yeah. talked to me. Mm. So I see Jimmy out in L.A. I don't know if Jimmy remembered. I seen Jimmy, Jimmy out in L.A. at, like, one of the parties, like, for, like, SB weekend, whatever the case may be, and Jimmy don't speak to me at all. I'm like, dang, that's, that was my, okay, whatever. He changed. So, he changed. He, he changed on me. So it goes from me saying, damn, good for Jimmy, to me having to call Jimmy at some point later on in my career and say, hey, man, can I come to Chicago? Can I play with you? <laughs> Yo, we was, we was taught to hate y'all, man, and hate everything about the Miami Heat. And I understand why. Y'all used to beat our ass on a regular basis. <laughs> it was like damn near disrespectful. Like, how you just disrespected me throughout that whole story about how I wasn't good. I <laughs> It was blatantly disrespectful the way you used to beat up on us in Chicago, man. Yeah. I mean, if, if the roles were reversed, you would hate me too. You would. Shaq? Nope. So you, you hate me? I don't have any more questions. I just want to know how. Yo. That's what you said. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. That's what you said. <laughs> Who has a better hang? That's what the hell you said. Uh, okay. I have, a, I have another question. Right, Jimmy? I was going to, yeah, I was going right, to. He did, he did say that. Thank he you. Did That's what you said. We we're going to roll the tape. We're going to check it. I'm sure you're Go for it we're again. We're recording this so you could change it. You could, like, say something else and they could, you know. You're right. I'll dub out. it what over. What is this for? This is for something like we made, we made this game we might play. Oh, we want to play a game? Yeah. Jimmy, we're going to play Hold on. D Wade had another question. No, don't worry about it. Go ahead. I'm yeah, we good, man. Move on. Okay. Well, I wanted to you guys to rate Jimmy Butler singing this song in the locker room, but. Give it a one out of ten. Can we hear oh, it? Jimmy, we found an old clip. Yeah, let's take a listen. Old Jimmy in the locker room. Don't need to stay off my Instagram or wherever you got this. Like a perfect night for breakfast every day. Falling in love with strangers. 
Oh, okay. Ooh, Ooh, the elbows. Feet work. <laughs> feet work. Oh, that's easy. I get out of nine. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> I get out of nine, man. That's a nine. Jimmy, gonna... does does Dwayne complain? I'm gonna give him a ten. The feet work was nice. The rhythm was nice. He even put his shirt yeah. on. In the middle of it. Yeah, in the middle of it. So I'm going to give you a 10, Jimmy boy. Jimmy, did Dwayne complain to you as much about people being upset with the dunk contest nine that he does to us? Did he confide in you? He's like, why is everyone being hard on me? Nah. Okay. Uh, Because truthfully, I really don't think that he cares. Like, I mean, it is what it is. DJ won. man didn't clear that man. He can't get no 10 if he didn't clear the man. I'm with you on this, D-Way. Shaq. Me too. Shaq was on my team. So... (laughs) Jimmy, my one question to you is, my years in Chicago, and I've watched you with Lisa and Bob, um, with Bobby and AJ, I watched you with with everybody kids, and you always wanted that moment. You always wanted, like, you was like, one day, D, I'm going to have my family, I'm going to have my my youngin, and you now have a baby girl who we we would not talk about her name or nothing like that, keep her identity close to your heart. But just talk about... How she's changed you, you know, having, I know this is something that you've been wanting your whole life because family is important to you. So just talk yeah. about how she's changed you. Man, it just makes me um, do everything for that reason. Everything that uh, I do every single day, I just want to make it home to her, um, have her set up for the rest of her life and um, makes me do things the right way. I, I see that she does everything that I do. Mm. Um, good, bad, and I just want to almost be here, man. I love being a father, especially to a uh, a baby girl. As tough as I think and say that I am, you wouldn't know. You just you you're soft, soft around. <laughs> you know, that I accept that, and I just I love her more than anything in the world, man. I really do. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. He means that. He's he's I great. do. He's great with every with everybody, kids. He's great. And so now you got See, that gives me hope because that's how I am with other people's yeah. kids, and I don't have one yet, but I see it like in Jimmy's eyes where he's like, that's my purpose now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just want to know, can I uh, can I get those earrings though that you're wearing? Like, can I can you can your boy get a gift or something? Let me get uh let me get those, bro. You between you and your son, y'all got right, DNA, in. lightning bolts, y'all got all <laughs> I think I think you all right, got Jimmy, you got uh, it. I think that the best thing that you can do for your young coffee company is to get an investor like Shaq. And Shaq is ready to make an offer. If you can guess how many kids he has, he will invest in your company. I guess how many kids he got. He has four. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Yeah. (laughs) You invest in a way. (laughs) <laughs> he has apparently... It's one of these. <laughs> 5,987. No, it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Guess. You said six, seven, eight, or nine? Yeah. Five, you said five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Will you be investing in Jimmy Butler's company? No. Wow. Six, Jimmy. Three boys, three girls. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And then I Dude, got. You threw me off. You said five, six, seven, eight, or nine. I was going and, to the middle. And then I got two appearances on the Maury Povich show coming up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we'll see. But for now it's a, a six. Three girls. <laughs> yep. I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I had a great time hanging with Jimmy Butler. You know what? There he goes. Yo, Jenny, thanks for taking time on your day off, I can't believe you said that on national TV. I can't believe that neither. Who has a better hand? Thanks for taking time on your day off to come in and rap with us, bro. I appreciate (laughs) y'all. You're going viral, Jimmy. I'm sorry. Thank you, Jimmy. (laughs) Dealing with you annoying.